My name is uh, Dr. Fadi Hussein. I'm associate professor in Cairo University. I want to welcome you all in the first uh, Thomas School, Thomas Mean School course in Egypt. It will be held in the 12th and 13th of March 2020. And this is the first uh, uh, mini school course to be held in Cairo. However, it came after a series of Thomas Mini School courses all over uh, Europe and the Middle East. Uh, we're going to talk about uh, the best location sites for mini screws, uh, how to be successful, and however, if there are any failures, what are the causes of the, these failures and how you will manage them. Uh, we're going to talk about also the Thomas competitors, uh, and why the Thomas system is unique. We're going to unbox the Thomas mini screw because it's not only a mini screw, but it's a complete system with different types of uh, screw, of, of screws with two different heads and with different lengths for different clinical situations. Uh, we're going also to have a hands-on course and placement of mini screws on bone blocks specially designed for uh, Thomas mini screw insertion in courses made by Dentari. Uh, also, we're going to talk about some basics of biomechanics and then we we'll go deeper to go for the uh, biomechanics for uh, skeletal anchorage. And then we're going to discuss how to manage the uh, caline retraction with maximum anchorage using screws, followed by in mass retraction, uh, and followed by also uh, second premolar to second premolar retraction in first uh, molar extraction cases. Also, then we'll talk about the molar protraction, especially missing congenital missing lateral incisors using the T wire from Dentaro. Uh, and then we'll go afterwards for uh, the under using the palatal distalizer, also manufactured by Dentaurum. And then we'll go for the buckle uh, distalization using the buckle screws for full arch distalization. And finally, we'll talk about how to manage deep bite cases and how to will how will we include the lower incisors and how we will enforce and prevent the tipping of the motors during doing this. And finally, in open bite cases, will you go for the palatal tads and how much tads needed? Will you go for the buckle tads, single versus double screws for molar intrusion? Uh, we're going to discuss all these in details in two days. See you all and thank you so much.